Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Yes, yes. I'm finally going to show you the visual of Grah Arudha. What did I mean by last video that I made about your hidden personality and what exactly or how exactly people perceive you or you're perceiving them? So we'll discuss all these things. Think of it as part two of that video. So as you see here, this is a North Indian style birth chart of a person. So if you're new to this video, don't worry, within three minutes, you'll know exactly what these things are. So if you see these boxes, right, this is the one box. This is another box. This is another box, another box, another box. These are 12 boxes. And the very first box that you see here on top, this square triangle is known as the ascendant. This is the ascendant your rising sign so this will always be your rising sign this is your ascendant this will never be your ascendant this will never be your ascendant this will never be your son and this will never be only this particular house is your ascendant i'll make this house really nice and thick just like you like it just like you want it baby nice and thick so this is your ascendant. Now you must be wondering, what is this number two, number three jargon here? What is this number two? Okay. And what is this then number three going counterclockwise and four and five and six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and one. I shouldn't have a 13 there. I don't know why I put a 13. This should be just one. So these are the zodiac signs. These are the zodiac signs, okay? So if you notice here, number two, this is the sign of Taurus. So this means this is a Taurus ascendant. Does that make sense now? So the first house is a Taurus ascendant. Then second house is Gemini. So the sign of Gemini, number three, is rising because Gemini is the third sign in the zodiac belt, in the zodiac chronological cycle. So that is number three. Then the third house becomes number four. That means cancer. This is the cancer. This house has cancer rising in it. So you can go cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and back to Aries. So the 12th house has Aries rising in it. Simple. That's it. This could be anything. If you saw number four here in this square, what do you think this ascendant would be? Cancer. Then you'll see number five here, which is? Sign of Leo. So remember, I'm going to put this on top. This is the first house, second house, third house, fourth house, fifth house, sixth house, seventh house, eighth house, ninth house, tenth house, eleventh house, and twelfth house. So the ones in the pink are the houses. The ones in this white bluish number, these are the zodiac signs rising in each house. That's, uh, that's all you need to know. So I'm going to give you the example of Grah Lagna, including Arudha Lagna, by using Taurus Ascendant. This way I'm not like making, because whenever I clean it, it gets really smudged and I have to clean it really well because this is not the best of the glass. So we're just going to use Taurus Ascendant as our example. So Grah Lagna, right? That's what you want to find out first. What is Grah Lagna? For most of you who know what Arudha Lagna is, because I showed you, because you get it in my report. And obviously, if you do not know your astrological details and you want the report from last video so you can see your Arudha Lagna and all your planet replacements and all the details, for that, check out the links here, right there. And you'll be able to get the full astrological report and my consultations at this link. So let's uh, write a planet. So which planet rules the sign of Taurus? Number two. It's Venus. So we're going to try to find out for Taurus Ascendant, what is their Graha Arudha? So I'm going to write Venus here. This is Venus. Okay. Didn't come out really bright. Let me see if this works. Venus, yeah. 
This is Venus. So Venus, the ascendant Lord of Taurus, is sitting in which house? No, it's not sitting in the fifth house. It's sitting in the fourth house in the sign of Leo. See? That's simple. Because remember, the pink one are the houses. The blue one are the zodiac signs. So Venus is in the fourth house for this person. They're Taurus ascendant. Venus is sitting in the fourth house. So now, how would you find Krihe Arudha? Well, from where Venus is sitting, right? Venus is sitting in the fourth house. How far is Venus's sign Taurus from the fourth house? Because remember, in astrological chart, you go counterclockwise, especially in North Indian chart. So we're going to count to see how far Venus's house is. We're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means Venus is Venus being in the fourth house has its sign of Taurus 10 places away from itself. So now, how do you come to Griha Arudha? Well, from this place where the sign of Taurus is, you're going to count 10 places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the Grahe Arudha. So for this person, the Grahe Arudha becomes the tenth house. Now you see this concept of Grahe Arudha. Let's write Venus for this person. This person is a Taurus ascendant again. And Venus is in the sixth house. Right? Venus is in the sixth house in the sign of Libra. Now let's calculate the Grahe Arudha. So, how far is Venus's sign, the ascendant, the sign of Taurus? How many places is it away from Venus itself? So, well, we'll count it again from counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight places away for this person. Now, how do you calculate the Grahe Arutha? Well, count eight places from the ascendant itself. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means the Grahe Arutha is the eighth house, the sign of Sagittarius. That's the Grahe Arutha for this person. I'll give you a third example. Okay. Venus. And by the way, if your Grahe Arutha is in ascendant itself, so let's say Venus is sitting right there. So Venus is sitting right there in the ascendant. Then Grahe Arutha is the first house. That's it. So your ascendant Lord Venus being in the ascendant or any other ascendant Lord being in the ascendant, your Grahe Arutha will always be the ascendant. If Venus is in the seventh house, so Venus is sitting in the seventh house for this person. So how far away Venus's sign is from the seventh house? Well, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven places away its house. Then you count seven places back. That means the seventh house itself becomes the Grahe Arudha. So that's that concept that you guys were asking me over and over from yesterday's video. So now let's see this person has Venus in the 10th house. Oh, this pen is not working. Well, let's see here. Venus is in the 10th house for this person in the sign of Aquarius. So how far away Venus's ascendant is? Well, let's count one, two, three, four. So Venus is four places away from its home, its ascendant. Then to find Grahe Arudha, count four places. One, two, three, four. Simple. So this is the Grahe Arudha for this person. Just like the Donald Trump example I gave you. Donald Trump is a Leo ascendant with ascendant Lord sitting in the 10th house right here. 
So you count four places and you count four places from the ascendant. So Greha Ruda for Donald Trump was also the fourth house, but he was a Leo ascendant. Okay. So this is how you calculate Greha Arudha. Now I'm not going to show you Arudha Lagna because I simply follow one way of uh, understanding Arudha Lagna, which is through Kane Rao's uh, method. There are other methods, other techniques, how people count Arudha Lagna. I don't want to get into that because it's just going to be too complicated. So this is your Greha Arudha. This is what shows you how people are perceiving you as. And especially you should watch my part one video if you're new to this particular video, which is known as your, uh, what is the title of the video? Hidden uh, personality seen in Vedic astrology, something like that, man. I'm too tired to remember my own title. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description. All right, see ya. If you're new to my channel, remember, subscribe below. And if you need consultations, reports, books, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.